Hello, everybody. It's that. It's that time again. Where I got Antsukamaru and Val and myself to once again venture in to the, so to the Archie Sonic universe. The pre reboot, for those of you that don't know. As I delve in. Now, listen. Now, before we begin, I want to set up some rules. Listen. This is only for the pre reboot days of the comic. Anybody who's talking post reboot and want to talk bad about the pre reboot, you, you gotta understand. We're not talking about the post reboot. Although we may do something in the future with that. But not now. This is all about the pre reboot. Please keep your comments of Ian, Ian Flynn away from our comment section. Like, seriously, if you say, oh, well, Ian Flynn is this and that and third. And this is way better, like, you need to calm down, okay? Ian Flynn's not the, Ian Flynn's not the biggest thing since Jesus, calm down. Hey. <sighs> Like you can talk about Ian Flynn in our comment section, but come on, no certain no certain shit, okay? This is just us liking this version of the Archie Comics. If any of you don't like that, well oh well oh well. We're doing it, you don't have to watch it. But it's Sonic's birthday and I didn't feel like doing like Sonic Boom month this this month because, you know, and one day is better than just doing it, like, for a whole month, I realized. So, you know, and also, just, and trust me, this is only talking about the pre-reboot, so don't, don't, like, go, well, the post reboot's better, and blah, 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 blah. well, if we talk about the post-reboot, yeah. Go go nuts in our comment section. We are talking about the pre reboot, and if you're not interested, don't don't look at this, okay? Ah, so Bunny finally did it, huh? Yep. She basically she basically got legionized and got her stuff back, so she did. She got legionized. That's great. That's just great. Guys, are you really, like, let's be real, are we, re did we really expect anything less than this? I mean, think about it. Bunny's whole freaking ro robotic powers are, have been taken away and stuff, and she feels kind of powerless because Ant's still, because Anton's still in the fucking hospital, you two. I, I know, but, oh my god. Jack from the Sand Blasters. Oh, sweet lord. We got this we got this ass hat. I hate them more than Jeffrey St. John. Because they're but the Sand Blasters are dicks. They're just they're fucking dicks. Now let's read. Oh actually, but Val, if you'd be so kind. <clears throat> Several months. The last several months have been a trying time for the Freedom Fighters. Bunny D. Colette, her long-lost uncle, was revealed to be a slave for the Eggman Empire. Her best friend was roboticized. She was nearly killed in the crossfire, the crossfire of Ixus and Agus' crystal. The magic of the Wizard King attempted to undo the injury. Inadvertently restored Bunny's flesh to rest, restored to Bunny. Ah, oh, wait a minute. You don't got your glasses. Hey, I'm just trying to follow along, and you know, I need my glasses. Hold, hold, hold on, Val. I don't. Well, you know, you should have did it beforehand. You really should have. Well, excuse me, guys, so I can just fall along without having my glasses on for once. Okay, go for it. Restored, restored Bunny to the 
to her flesh and blood self, which proved to shatter her spirit completely, when she was completely powerless to save save her husband Antoine from Melisonic exploding at the end of at the end of her rope, she leaves New Mobile Metropolis in a lapse of judgment, seeking some semblance of comfort in, in the only family she has left. And right here is where she lay, where she leaves Antoine. I think Antoine's gonna die. I personally, I mean, I think Ian was gonna let him die, but I doubt. Because I looked at those freaking lost, uh, the, the freaking head talk tales thing, and he's like, No, I was gonna totally let him live. I'm like, No, you weren't. You're probably gonna let him die. And it would have been in the way you, in the way that man writes, is, it, it's meaningless. It's so meaningless. All right. Looks looks like you've got to go somewhere. Looks like you got nowhere else to turn, scum. The whap. Wait. Where did that? Bunny's looking awesome. <laughs> hey, Bunny. No comment. <laughs> oh, is the Chaos Lord still remembering the good old days? I'm talking about, we do not talk. We do not talk about those days. I do not talk about that past life. Because it's not, it's nothing to really talk about. Mm, so you say. But our therapy sessions uh, beg to differ. Hey, I thought you weren't going to talk about it. No, nah, I'm just I'm just fucking with you. No one really no one really know about therapy sessions. It's just a thing that I am gonna use through this issue now. I I'm so tomorrow I hate you. Now you don't, you love me. <sighs> Little brother, you pushy. <laughs> well, you want me to read? Yeah, sure. We'll take we'll take you over in We'll take you over a couple of nobodies any day. But he looks unamused. The whack. The, eh, the whack. The whack, girl. Legionnaires, push back. We got him on the ropes. I don't like that Bunny's a legionnaire. I mean, what do you expect at this point, guys? Like, it was going to happen either way. I say it's better that the, uh, it's better that the, the, uh, heard you sign online guys are writing me because they know what they're doing. She's she's too much for us to take on alone. You know, people always say like, "Well, guy, like guys, why do you do these videos? Because you know these these comics take long to come take a lot longer to come out. Well, duh. There's not like a lot of team. There's we only we have they have a small team and they don't like they can't push these out like how Archie could." on a monthly basis. Like some people really want this comic to be like like efficient like Archie used to be. It's like it it can't happen like that. It it really can't. And you know, some of you just need to just book up and actually read this thing instead of just like going like why you guys read this stuff? And then we got the then we got the regular Sonic fans going like what why do you read this stuff? It's it's not canon. It's not canon. Uh, uh, uh. 
you guys, you're having way too much fun just making fun of other people who point this out to you. Hey, well, hey, hey, they want to act like... Hey, they want to act like weird. They want to act like weirdos about this. We can act like weirdos too. That's that's Kuro one hundred and one right there. <laughs> that's a rule. Those are rules we live by, Val, old boy. That was amazing, Miss Rabot. D Kulak. We, you've really tur turned things around for us since you joined. I'm just doing what need. I'm just doing what I needed to do. See, you're regretting it, buddy. You're regretting it. You could have. You. Could, I know. Like we could have. You could have just had some free. You could have had some freedom for us to do it at some point. You didn't have to do all this. A few weeks ago. Alright, alright, alright. I think I could do I think I could do Rick I think I could do Bunny's uh what was this his her grandpa? It's been so long. Uh, is Matilda Mighty Sister. You know, I really hate how IDW just yeah, you know, yeah, you know, they 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 could put these characters in here, they're just like nope. Nope. Okay. It might be more efficient if we, Baron, we have some, we have a guest. She surrendered, she surrendered immediately, I wasn't sure if, Bunny, you can, you can leave her. I'll see to it she doesn't, she doesn't do no harm. Matilda, would you, would you mind giving me giving me my niece some privacy? Yeah, that's her uncle. Of course, sir. What brings you here, buddy? You told these. I know it. I know what voice you're using. I know what voice you're using. <laughs> yeah, I figured that went out pretty quick, did you? On something like well, you know me. I'm mostly around when you do have these impressions, so, you know. What's wrong, bud? What happened to your... Uncle Bell? Uncle Bo? I need you to legionize me. Tell me, tell me what happened. An explanation later. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for what happened to you. To me? What about Antoine? What about Sally? They might have got your friends, but I can't say I have much sympathy for an acorn or a decoulette. Mm. Well, I know why that is. Anybody else that doesn't know why that is, just just read the comic. No, nah, no. Nah. Some people are just like, no, Bugsy. It's we they'd be like, no, Bugsy. It's weird. We don't want to read it. We don't. We don't understand it. And because we don't understand it, it's so weird. Because we'd rather not put in the time to read it. Guys, could we not poke? Can we not poke at the freaking fans who don't understand this comic? Because we clearly do, and it, you know, fuck, every, fuck those people who don't. That's on them. They missing out. Not, a, not anybody else. Yeah, true, true, true. I don't know, I just felt the need to just jab a little bit. How could how could you still think that after the way, after how much your stoneness put us through? Well, the acorns weren't exactly looking out for their best interest when they tore down our government and took all our riches. 
Oh, and that justifies treason? What what your parents did was far from treason. They were true patriots. And in a way they were the original they were the original freedom fighters. Yeah, they were pa they were patriots just like just like you used to call them. Oh god dang. See, this is the kind of shit I didn't know. Like they never really talk about bunnies like like parents. And if they have, I haven't really I don't remember it. If if they have. <clears throat> Did my parents justify patriots? Did my parents' patriotism justify the effect it had on me? Did it justify leaving their only daughter behind? Only to be killed by the very people they were conspiring with? Did you did it justify leaving me without any parents in my life? Now, now you respect the memory of your aunt Lumi, your aunt Lumine, Lumin, Lumin, Lulu, oh Lulu me, Lulu me, Lulu me. Okay, and they stare each other down. Aside from that, legionizing yourself would not be a good idea. When it's not a good idea. The the lens that I you that we use to legionize you would have bombs in them, and I can't do that to you, sweet. I can't do that to you, sweetheart. Is there any other way? Is there any way you could re reconsider? No, of course not. I'll arrange for you to be legionized tomorrow morning. So they, so she still would be legionized. Ugh! But legionization is so fucking wrong, because he is right. They would have bombs in them. So it's like, so either way, you know, Eggman can literally just at any moment press a detonation button and they're fucking done. I, I just, eh. I mean, I like this. But I don't like how Bunny's being dumb. But it makes sense for what It actually makes sense why she would do this. <sighs> at, the, at the end of the day, boys, she feels powerless. I mean, everybody else has, like, Sonic's got his speed. Tails got his smarts. Rotor's still... Rotor's got, his, Rotor's got that freaking suit. And everybody else has their, like, role. And Bunny now, you know, Bunny used to be the muscle. She doesn't even have that anymore. Yeah, that is true. Miss, there's no sugar coating it. This is gonna be a pain incredibly painful process. I'll take your body uh, take your body about a month or two for a rehabilitation to get through the pain. To prefer to return to its normal function with your new limbs. I'll you know, I'll be on my feet in less than a week. Are you sh Are you sure you want to go through through with it? Do it. Oh sh! I'm glad they didn't show that, man. Like, like uh, to put it in perspective for people that don't know, robotization is like fucking quick compared to legionization because literally they are. Literally cutting you open and putting fucking, like, putting cyborg parts in you. And it is fucking painful from what we heard. Oh, uh, excuse us. Let me put that in me. Let me put that in the downloads. Glad that's actually in because that's another thing we're going to be doing in a minute. Yeah. Oh, 
Hold on, everybody. This will only take a sec. Hold on, everybody. This will only take a sec for us, okay? We're just gonna kinda... I, I need to do this real fast before we uh, continue. Let me just cut... And cut the window a little bit. We'll be right back, though. Don't worry. It's, I still got... We still got the... We still got the recording going, so give us a few, give us a few, we'll be, we'll be right, we'll be right back. <laughs> now we're going to. Oh, that's how you make a new fall. <laughs> Bugsy's like, uh, we're doing more Sonic stuff, so, uh, Bugsy and Bugsy is doing, Bugsy's just setting up for the next video that we're going to do in a minute. This video is going to have no intro because, like, it would take us an extra few minutes to do. But we'll probably do something with it. Don't you worry. Do to do. Gotta love, gotta love my new computer, guys. It is just so perfect. It's but it's good for recording. I swear to you guys, I don't know what I ever did without. I don't know what I ever did without this. Well, we made things. Well, we we got them the best we could. Yeah, true, true. Hmm. Okay. Sorry about that, folks. I just had to make sure that this is like taken care of before we before we get started with the other stuff. Because you know today's Sonic's birthday and all. You're probably like, but why is this? Why is this not focused on Sonic? Because, folks. This is still a part of Sonic's history, whether any of you like it or any, with, whether if any of you want to acknowledge that or not. So we're gonna we're gonna do this. Do, do, do. Eggman needs Eggman needs oil shipments from the Dragon Kingdom for a new project. I don't know what what it's for, but. The local grandmaster seems pretty, pretty insistent. Com Commissar Lesaf is putting you in charge of shipment. Yes, yes, sir. Y'all be willing to and will will eh? Y'all will y'all will go with her to ensure that the shipment gets here safely. Buddy, can I speak for you? can I speak to you for a moment? How you how you been doing? You've been doing great on on the home front, but I know you have better than you have better you better than expecting to. Oh yeah, I know you better than to expect. It to be the last, to be the last, and the last thing I want to repeat is oil ocean. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oil ocean. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot about that, guys. It's been so long. I totally forgot about that. You might have been able to get away with your. Failing, th failing things up once, but you, but you're one of us now. 
And you know full well that means Eggman's got an itchy trigger finger in response to failure. So she just becomes straight up a straight up Eggman Legionnaire. Yep, straight up, man. She don't get to, she don't get to leave or nothing. Oh my god. This this is so this is this this is good, but so fucking bad at the same fucking time. Well, I mean, Bugsy. I mean, man, what did you expect for her to what do you expect for her to happen? They weren't gonna let her leave. Because, you know, once you a legionnaire, Bugsy, you you and I both know. You're pretty much bounded to Eggman's fucking service. That's what the Egg Legion are. Just his fucking his his cyborg dogs, in a sense. I wanted to check up check check in on you and see how you're holding up. I'm feeling all right. Uh. All right, I've been feeling better lately. But that's not why you came. How are you holding up? I haven't thought about thought about it. Focus on my job and don't think about what I've lost. Antoine, Sally, everyone at home, I don't. I'm sorry. Uh, bunny, bunny, you didn't have to do this. You really didn't. You could, man. We could have, man. There could have been another way, and you just said, "Fuck it, we're gonna go to my uncle. I'm gonna get legionized. I'm gonna get all this shit done, and then I'm gonna leave all my friends behind because you know, as soon as I get legionized, bombs are in me." <laughs> this is this is messed up, man, Bugsy. This is messed up. You know it is. You know it is. Oh, trust me, I know. You think you think I'm okay with this? I mean, I like I mean, I like it because we're really going to poke, we're really showing what Buddy is going to be going through, and I like that because, again, as much as you guys want to not hear it, these characters. Have have more depth to them than Pontac and Graf could ever put into them, even more than Ian Flynn tried to do. Because the because the, these writers here know, you know what these characters are all about. I know Mighty and his friends are thinking about you just like they are thinking about me. No matter what happens to you, no matter where you go, you always have people who care about you. Thank you, I'll tr thank you, Tilly. I'll try. I try to remember that. <laughs> Remind you of your old days, but can we not talk about those days? God dang it! You're making my wings. You're making my wings flare up. It's stupid. You're stupid on somewhere. You're dumb. Mm. Ah, this is dumb. Like, let's be real though. This is just the most stupidest thing Bunny could ever have done. Ahem. <clears throat> what do you. What do you think. What do you think of this new project? Something. Something destructive. Good luck, Buds. I'll be fine, I'll be fine, Uncle Bo. I trust, I trust in your inner strength to get you through anything that comes your way. Remember that. I have all the power I need. That's not what I meant. Soon. I've never been to the Dragon Kingdom before. I wonder what it's like. This is good. Oh my god. You know, you know, you know who it is. Man, motherfucking sandblasted assholes, of course. 
God, I hate these dicks. You ain't the only one, man. You ain't the only one. There's a lot of people, and even us that share your sentiment. I hate these. I hate these assholes too. <clears throat> How about okay, like you know, it's you been calling me out to the world. Hey, I'm not gonna call you Dark Amaru. I think that's dumb. We can figure out a better name for you if you're really gonna change it. I still like Dark Amaru. Yeah, but I'm still gonna call you on second one no matter what. So, you know. There's that. There's some sandblasters up ahead. Stop here, this won't take long. Who wants to get beat first? Hit it, Avery. You got it, boss. Right, here we go with Jack's stupid ass. Looks like y'all fell for our trap after all. And this time, we have something. It's we have something that that really make Bo hurt. Nice to see you again, buddy. Jack, you son of a bitch. Hey, I'm just making sure I didn't hit, like, the page. Enjoying your... Enjoying your stay. Thanks for... Thanks for that oil. Thanks for all that oil. It'd be incredibly useful for my crew. That's not to compare which we'll get... We'll get off of your uncle. He'll give anything to get you back. He's got he's gonna give us everything he's got. Ha <laughs> ha. But fuck Jack. As as Sam blasting and Sam blasting buddies. Because you know what happens when you Because you know what happens to people's symbols when they hit sand. It gets everywhere. <laughs> You're not doing that is a that is a reference to one of our old jokes that I think you're doing. Oh yes. <laughs> like everybody who watches this, they're just like, "What the fuck are you guys talking about?" I am so confused. Like if they're watching this and they're so confused about like the the whole like bunny thing, I'm sorry, dudes. This is this is exactly the reason why you should not be going to these videos if you don't know what's going on. I mean, if you do, good. If you don't, yeah, I'm sorry you're confused. Sorry, I'm sorry you're confused. How do you intend on torching? You'll have, you'll just have to wait and find out. Yeah, you're you guys are scared. Well, Jack was always a pussy ass bitch. Like, let's be real. He's all freaking intimidated and shit. Scarlet, I'm leaving you in charge of a cell. Yes, sir. You should. You should hope that you're using this last for a while, buddy. Because once you outlive it, I'll publicly execute you myself. Buddy, you could break out of here. I'm just saying, you could literally just be like, uh, <laughs> oh my god. Well, this is a fine mess she's gotten herself into. Indeed. Val, what do you think? This whole this whole situation where Buddy's got herself in is bad, boys. I mean, let's be real. She did not have to do all this, but no, she needed her robotics back. She needed them all back, and she needed them now. And she needed to. She, oh my God! It, it, it's so, it's so horrible. But eh, makes for good, makes for a good story. Eh, yeah, it does. So, so okay, this. 
Gentleman X is just saying how you how he was exposed to to exposed to Archie Sonic. He was only getting started as run pre-boot Archie. He had he had been doing it for nearly a hundred issues at that point. If you include Sonic Universe, if you look at what at what what he was doing there. He was doing a lot of setup and laying the groundwork for a grander for grand for grander things. It's very rare that a that a run of, that a run of a comic will last as long as it did to get cancelled so abruptly and leaving fans unsatisfied. One of my dreams as a kid it was right for the Archie, right for Archie Sonic, but with the con canceled, this was the next best thing. You know, I'm glad. So I'm glad this is like making people's dreams come true. Ian basically says, you know. Uh, Like Joe X or Ian or whatever. Okay, Ian says, not the Ian Flynn, not Ian Flynn, different Ian PK Ian. Ian PK or something. Ian PK is that's what he's that's what he's saying. Okay. Now, <clears throat> I've been kind of over the place with my comic bag. I had comic ideas I was working on. Off and on when I was a kid. One day, hopefully, the world will get to see see in 2020. See it in 2020 is going to be a year of experimentation for me. I have a ton of things I'm interested in and creatively exploring, but the time will tell if I think it's worthy of the pub public consumption. Ha ha ha. Any last words for the readers? This is my first full issue. This is my first full issue with RG Sonic Online, as as it happens. This is my. It's also my last, and it's a shame that it worked out like that. I felt like it was time for me to move on. I won't rule out returning someday, but in the meantime, I hope you readers. I hope the re, I hope readers enjoy this, and. And the rest of Bunny's arc. See you guys on the flip side. Well, you know, hell of a way to hell of a way to end off, man. So, so basically, guys, what did you think? Well. Bunny did a stupid thing. The Sand Blasters are still fucking assholes, even though it hasn't been that long for them. It's been years for us, and I still remember how much of an how much how much of an ass bandit Jack still is. And if we're talking about literal ass banditry, they you know the Sand Blasters are basic ass bandits. Ah, yes, ass banditry. We haven't talked about that in years. <laughs> you know, Val? Yeah. It's good to have you. It's good to have you on. And, until tomorrow? Yeah. It's good that you actually talked me into doing, the, doing these read on these read alongs. Well, you know. Well, you know. I wanted to put our love for Archie. In like in in a format that would make sense, so you know, so you know, so I get this issue, I get this issue five, I get I also get this issue five. Man, guys, it's not gonna seem freaking like we actually like we didn't critique it, like we didn't critique it enough. Who cares? It's our personal scores. It's not like anybody's gonna give a shit. He's kind of right, Bugsy. 
Yeah, I'm giving it a 5 too. Fuck it. I enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun. And I want them I want them to keep I want them to keep improving. And I like how Buddy's like and that's the thing about Sonic that's the thing I always loved about Sonic Universe. The fact that other characters outside of Sonic and the others can have their own arcs and their their own stories and we can see that unfold without it being shown off screen or giving it too much time away from the other characters. That's what I love about Sonic Universe. And I'm glad that it was I was glad that it got created, but I'm glad they brought it back. So yeah. We're gonna do a breakdown later. We're gonna do a breakdown uh, like about a week from now. Yep, about a week from now. Or maybe two, because we got a lot of other stuff to do. So we'll see you guys in a minute. Peace, and we hope you we hope you honestly enjoyed this. And we hope you uh, will stick around for the breakdown where we actually talk about where we actually talk about the about the issue in a un fanboyish kind of light. Because honestly honestly this is a great story but literally Bunny didn't have to do this. There there was totally another way this could have happened. <sighs> <sighs> But at the same time, Bunny felt powerless. And when you're powerless, you'll do whatever you can. You'll do whatever you can to get some of that power back. If you know, if you feel that useless. And Bunny felt that useless. Aw, uh, guys, you know what I just realized? What, Bugsy? Bunny never saw saw Sally get re you know, de-roboticized. Dude. Ah, oh, dude, that, you're totally right. Guys. Uh, that's gonna... And what if Antoine wakes up, guys? Oh, guys, that that is... This is how Bunny gets out of this. Oh man, this is good. that that fucking that that fucking just got me right in. That fucking just got me right in my heart. Jesus. All right, guys. We'll we'll um. I'll see you guys later because this is where I this is my stop. But me and Bugsy will see you guys in a minute because we got more Sonic stuff on the way. Well, two more things. So we'll see you guys. Uh, we'll see you guys in a minute. Peace.